the coronavirus took another life of someone here in North Alabama. Like everyone who's lost their life to this virus, there are, are so much more things we can know than just the number on a COVID dashboard. Shalena Doran was scheduled to get her second COVID shot, but she caught the virus and was hospitalized for three weeks before passing away this past Sunday. Her family laid her to rest today, but they shared her story with Way 31's Grace Campbell to make sure her legacy and impact is not forgotten. Grace, what can you tell us about Shalena? Everyone I spoke with told me Shalena was the most caring and considerate person you could ever have the pleasure of meeting. She was incredibly selfish. She was more than just a mom, daughter, sister, and a friend. Some people told me she was a beacon of light. She meant the world to me. She was an amazing mother. She was everything and more that you could have asked for. In 2011, Shalena Dorn took in her niece and nephew. After their mom died from the swine flu and their dad couldn't take care of them because of his heart problems before passing in 2014. The two kids were only three years old and a month old when Shalena took custody. And she quickly took on the role of being their mom. She would do anything and everything for Serenity and Colin. She quit her her dream job just to move closer so she would be able to see me and my brother every morning and every night and get tuck us into bed and feed us dinner. So she really was an amazing person. Shalena raised Serenity and Colin as a single mom for the past 10 years. Her older brother Kenneth moved from North Carolina to Arab when Shalena got sick and he focused on taking care of the two kids. Shalena is the closest thing to Superwoman as it can get. She would put everyone's needs before her own and would do everything with a smile. We were best friends. Um, not many brothers and sisters can say that. We also had each other's back. Uh, from the time that she took custody of the kids, we always knew that we had each other's back. Um, if something happened to one, the other would step in and take care, you know, try to fill the shoes. She's described by friends and family as being one of a kind. Truly was God's light. There's no way I could ever fill those shoes that my sister has laid out in front of me through God, her friends, spiritually, even being the mother that she was. There's no way I can fill it. Her friends and family say that Shalena will always live on within them. They will always be making sure that they are doing the best that they can at all times because that's what Shalena would want and hope for. Reporting live in ARAB, Grace Campbell, Way 31 News.